Hello and welcome to Stationeer's Mars Survival Guide. I'm your host, Grumforks. And our project for today will be Ice Crusher that will be crushing ices, namely ice, into water and filling the water tank that we will be placing within this hydroponics bay and also that will be filling the nitrogen that is a result of ice crushing into the uh, nitrogen tank that will be used for cooling. Here is the picture of how the whole setup should look like once it's done. So if you want to see it, stick around. This is going to be fun. All right, so in order to create the system, we need uh, the water bottle filler, we need some pipes, we need the ice crusher, and we need a couple more things. So I'm just now smelting uh, the copper and gathering all the necessary materials. And once I'm, I'm going to skip to the part once I'm done, and then I'm going to be showing you what components are needed and what and then I'm going to be proceeding into the assembly. Then the next we need an ice crusher. Oh, we would need to construct some frames here to make them look nice. Okay, let's just go inside and see if there is anything else we need. All right, so here I would be introducing the water tank. It would be going through this way on this side and let's see, do I need this is being filled with atmosphere while we are speaking. As you can see, we are already at 19 kilopascal. I'm going to temporarily shut it off so we don't drain the whole battery. And I'm actually thinking that I really want to be placing that um, water bottle filler. I would like to place it here somewhere, actually. But I'm worried that that might require me to deconstruct stuff. All right, so let's place here the two steel frames. One of them will contain the ice crusher. And the next one will probably be there. So let me just take steel sheets so I can weld it. Come on. Hydration critical. Hydration critical. See, this is the reason why we need this ice crusher in place sooner rather than later. Okay, that's one. I could actually use one more, come to think of it. Yeah, let's actually drink that water, what we have. Consume the water bottle. Okay, 88%, not bad. I don't know how many water bottles we have. Okay, and this copper is actually done. Good. We can actually shove it somewhere about here. And I'm thinking I'm going to place the ice crusher. Let's see. Whoa! Oh, wait. Come on. Okay, that was unexpected. Right. So, ice crusher, you know, rotate here. I want it to be close to power. And I want to be able to, you know, just dump the ices in here. And then it, they will fill up everything. So, I think this is good as place as any, I guess. Oh, right, I need to assemble it. Totally forgot about that. In that case, oh, let's just first print out the l kit tank insulated. I actually want portable tanks. I want those small tanks, you know, the ones that we have. Ice crusher, nope. Where are you? Okay, liquid canister storage, I guess that's possible. Liquid tank connector, liquid regulator, liquid tank, liquid portable tank, I guess. Okay, liquid tank connector. First, we need that one. And fortunately, that one only needs iron. Then I guess we need, let's say if we got portable, portable liquid tank. There you go. Love the search, bo search bar. And it dawned upon us, so we are ready to get an iron sheet 
together with the welder to do the ice crusher. There we go, and then we need two cable coil. Let's just remove the sheets. We, I think we even have the cable coil. But I do want a steel frame because I want to print another steel frame, which I will be placing behind it. So let me just quickly grab it one steel frame. There we go. All right, that's basically two steel frames. Maybe one more for good measure. Okay, I think that's good. Now I want some steel sheets, please. I only need three. There we go. Off you go. There we go. So let's now place the steel frames. One more here. One more there and another one here so I don't fall off. Right, let's weld these. Welder. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Perfect. That's welding done and then I need cable coil. And apparently, since I'm doing post commentary, I couldn't tell by the life of me that I actually had cable coil. Go figure. I was actually looking at these pipes. So, to connect the water tank, more mainly. Okay, so I need two cable coil. Let's finish it up. Good. Then we want to connect it to power. There we go. One straight up. Let's just take it away from here. We're gonna take it here and then we will be just moving it along ever so nicely. There we go and okay now so that actually makes it connected. Good. Let's store this. So now we should actually construct the water network and the gas network. All right, so let's build up some water pipes. We're going to place it here, then we're going to be curving it downwards. I'm going to be dragging it along with the line. Hold on. Uh, do I want to be placing it like this? No, actually, I want it to go down. Then I want it to go straight. Now you will have a pipe that goes up and that one will be used for the pipe meter that will be telling me the pressure of the water, which will be attached to this one here. So let's put it here, then here, 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 and here you will be going inside. There we go, good. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that setup. I cannot go it in any further. Right, uh, here I want to be putting the pipe meter, so I need to print it out and actually then install it. Pipe meter, let's start it in. There we go, done. And now let's place it here. Perfect. Just wanted to show you guys how it actually is built. There we go. So some pipes connected and now I'm going to be building a few more pipes and then I'm going to be connecting the tank which is supposed to go in there. Oopsie. Oh, and the filter low coming as ever. So 
right, one more liquid pipe just in case. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the pipe. Um, what do you call it? So we have the here the connector. We're going to move that portable tank, that water bottle filler. We have, I think, everything we need. So let's go inside now. We have fixed the external part of the piping network, at least for the. OK. Let's assume you have depressurized correctly. There you go. So the water pipes comes in here. OK, guys, so this first initial setup, it's not going to be really pretty, I'm telling you. It's just going to be functional, which means we will be making it possible for us to connect the tank, but it's not going to be, you know, overly beautiful or whatnot. So actually, I'm just going to move this tank a little bit further to this side. I want to be placing it tank so it actually is, is connected nicely. Rotates it something like here-ish. Come on. Little further down, please. No, actually this will work fine. I just need to take a wrench and a pipe and connect it is in a T shape fashion. I really love splicing even like in this occasion. Hold on. Turn on to this side. Yes, good. So everything that Ice Crusher crushes will go and fill in this tank. However, then I'm going to be placing this liquid tank on top of here and then we're going to wrench it down. Come on, wrench it. There we go. And we have the pressure valve on top. Beautiful. So here we can read the pressure on from the inside side. And the, on the other pipe we can read it from outside. Then we're going to be placing the valve so that we can open and close it. And then we're going to be placing the water bottle filler. But I'm actually thinking not like this maybe. I want to be able to come on rotate already. Actually, I'm thinking I have still pipes, so those might actually serve both the hydroponic bay and the water bottle filler. So something like this, actually. Yes. So the water bottle filler, you're going to come here. Come on, turn, damn you. Like this. Yeah. Was it that hard? I don't think so. Okay. So here you're going to be turning and then I'm going to be connecting the water bottle one and now I'm going to be connecting water bottle two pipes I don't need any more for the time being as you can see I'm preparing my hydroponics bay while this the atmosphere is getting populated by this little bit active vent oh and it's nighttime again I should close off the reason why I'm shutting off during the nighttime because during nighttime a very cold air would be entering the hydroponics bay so I will need to heat it in addition this way if I'm running it only during the daytime I already get an air that's preheated to some 13 20 ish degrees which is perfect for the plants and that air is being the co2 now, with that thing being said, <clears throat> so we have done everything what we needed, or almost everything we needed for the, um, for the container, for the water storage. But right now, I need it actually to be able to uh, find it correctly. I'm going to be placing oh, here on top, I will be placing the gas tanks. All right. There we go. That's the tank filler. Then we're going to do the liquid canister. 
because we will need the we need actually the liquid canister filler for the portable hydroponics uh, I think bay for that tiny little one we need to and also we needed the holder because we needed a way to of filling it right so now we need to do the same thing for the gases so portable gas tank and everything that we did for the liquids we need to do now for the gases I'm actually going to skip the part where I'm building piece by piece and I'm just going to go skip to directly to the assembly. Okay, so with all those components built, now let's connect the gas part. So, I'm thinking exactly what we did with the water part and we'll do for the gas tank, except the gas will be up and then the cooling liquid will be provided in place of this shelf. So, that thing being said, let's connect now the nitrogen part. And the reason, guys, why you need to actually start connecting both of them is because uh, nitrogen will get built up in your ice crusher and eventually it will blow your ice crusher. And you don't want it to do that. So, yeah. I'm getting on top. So, here I'm going to build this pipe and I'm going to build now the tank connector. Okay, it's connected right here, so let's drop in the tank. Okay, maybe not the pla best placement on my part, but let's see if we can weld it in. Or wrench it in. No, we can't. Okay, I need to move it a little bit. Push it ever so slightly, and there we go. Now it works. And look, it's nicely connected handle and everything but we still cannot oh boy we still cannot read the pressure so i'd actually very much like also a, a pipe valve in the same fashion as i have for the, the water i would like to have the same for the gas so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create another piece of uh, you know i'm not gonna say connectivity or whatnot so not like this it will go like this yes there we go and it will go up and then one straight more pipe up with the valve there we go that's the pipe and why are you creating two now I don't know for the life of me. Three. Okay, stop. Now, show me the pipe meter. It's not a valve, it's a meter. Right. I think it's important to have it because then we will be able to read the status and the pressures of these gases when we are using the ice crusher, which I think will be highly beneficial. So here we put a straight piece of pipe and then we put a valve or the meter, sorry. There we go. Look at it. Two meters nicely telling us the situation. Good. So now I guess we need uh, just some, you know, ices to be crushed, right? So, let's test it out, shall we? There we go. It's still nighttime. So, put in the ice and let's crush it. Okay, the liquid is going up and uh, this is going up. Okay, let's crush some more ice because that will be filling our water tank, which is really important for us. And okay, good. Okay, now for the last for the at least for time being, we will have some water to fill in our water bottles. I was already getting worried because I was completely out of the water bottles to be honest, or maybe I just had one. Look at this, empty, all of it. Maybe here we might have one. Okay, we have few, but those are mostly empty, I think. See? Empty. Another one? Empty doesn't matter we will just fill them in okay I'm gonna 
drag you in as well. Come on, you go here and you go here into the inventory. Oh, that one is full. Nice. Okay. Well, we had one more war, but I don't want to cut it too close. I think really we needed some sort of, you know, water refill system. Right. So that thing being said, I think I were going to need one or two more liquid pipes actually to connect the damn thing. Okay. And I'm obviously saying that because it's this is a post commentary and forget that I, I completely forgot that I had some pipes inside. Yeah, it happens. Okay. So let's get in. You know, my as always, I'm first doing this to make it practical, then I'm gonna make it pretty. So as you can tell here for the time being, we will be just placing the canister filler and somewhere here wait here I could be placing the canister or should I just place it right here hmm yeah let's place it right here and later on we will be replacing it, this by a proper you know hydroponic station okay so you place here and you are here you're empty because right now the valve is closed so once I open the valve, the spice shall flow, or actually the water shall flow. Wonderful. I'm actually gonna put these on the shelf, which I will later have to deconstruct anyway for the cooling. But for the time being, it will be handy to place everything on a shelf. Right? And perfect. Okay, so with that thing being said, I think, guys, it's time to wrap it up for the today's episode and the sun has come up. So, thank you very much for watching. Like if you like the episode, hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next one that will be coming. But until then, I'm Gromforks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.